Hey there, math fans. Do you sweat when someone asks you what cosine of pi over 6 is? I've been teaching calculus at the University of Washington for 20 years, and I noticed that this is a big stumbling block for students. I find a lot of students are guessing, and I think I did some of the same when I was a student. So I just want to give you two tips that hopefully will cure this problem. Um, the first tip is just know which is bigger. If you're dealing with 30 degrees or 60 degrees, you're gonna know that sine or cosine is square root of three over two or a half. If you can remember that cosine is the x value, which you can remember because cosine goes with the adjacent side to the angle. So if you, if you can remember cosine is the x value, then you can look at that triangle and say which is bigger, the x or the y. If you can remember that the square root of three is bigger than one, so the square root of three over two is bigger than a half, then you know the cosine has to be root three over two. It's that simple. And you can use the same thing for the other one. Which one's bigger there? The y value is bigger, so sine is root three over two. So that's my first tip. That's what I used to do as a student to remember. Now it's been burned into my brain. Okay, the other comment is, we're not trying to remember as much as students think we are. It's just these values. It's not very many. If you know the values in the first quadrant, then you know all the values. So there's all sorts of ways to memorize those, but I would argue that the first tip I gave you takes care of it, but I have something I've said over the years that students really like, and so I'm gonna give it to you as well. Um, I just think you don't need it. And I don't know what instructor, when I heard this, but it's just a quick note. If you look at those numbers, there is a sort of a pattern. This isn't a mathematical thing. If you can remember that the y value is 0 on the right, then you can do 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is not the final answer. This is just a way to remember it. After you've done 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, then you go back. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 on the way down. So let's do that. And then take the square root of everything and divide by 2. So we're going to take all those numbers and take the square root done. Divide everything by two. There's our answer. So students have told me they really like that. Um, it's a quick way to generate your unit circle without even having to think. You just have to remember where one of the zeros is. And then once you know those, you know all the rest. Um, so there you go. If that resonates with you, there's our values. You do have to remember that square root of zero is zero. And so square root of zero over two is actually just zero. And square root of four over two is actually just one. All right, let me know if that helps you.